Uh, we had just talked about shoes. Mm-hmm. We talked about the DC. We mm-hmm. talked about, but we didn't talk about uh, Shanahan. Mm. John Shanahan got his new little shoe. That is not little. That's big. Uh, new big little, dog shoe. That is new it little is. DC shoe. It okay, is. that's okay. awesome. Because that so. We were talking about this before the show, but that sole right there was a sole from the Clocker, which is like an old shoe from back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, around that era where it was like all the OG DC shoes. Totally. You know? And it's cool that they got to pull from their own heritage and work with that on something that's representing that style now. For sure. And that's that's a that's basically, it looks perfect for them. Totally. You know, it looks like an old school shoe, but it's new. Totally. Mm-hmm. And you don't got see- the strap on it and all that? The strap- uh, Dude, the Avatar. I don't know if you guys remember. I, I was so heavy in the SNDC back in the day. That you like, know all the names. I know all the names, dude. Like, <laughs> I, have, I thought you were talking about they're coming out the, the new movie. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, damn, they another one? Okay. Yeah. But congratulations to him. And yes, that must have been dude. a super fun project for him. A, feel proud to do it, but get to actually design the shoe. Yeah. Imagine designing. I mean, we kind of do that with S. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, designing some new shoe that's old. Right, it's older looking, it. right? right? Mm-hmm. But actually making it look new. We actually got a pair right here. Whoa! You got a pair? Yep. Man, what? This is what they look like. Let me see this. Hard. Thing. This is it. Raj, you changed the camera. I want to show it off. Look. Yo, that's tight. I didn't know you had them here. Yeah, that's cool, bro. Just, Where? just got them. Yo, this looks. But they're not out yet. This is just a, a, a sample. No, it's not or a no. sample. It's a what is it? They're gonna when be they out gift, here when the they gift people yeah. and stuff like that. It's a little What's that? Promo. Eight and a half. Damn. Oh, this I know who this is from. Uh, the man in the back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but by, by the way, this is not a paid anything. We yeah. I, DC, we'd love it if you will give throw us some bucks for this. But uh, right this, this is just uh, right we we got them and we wanted to show them. Uh, do an unboxing video for you guys. You know what I'm saying? No, I, um, it's what you, cool though. What are your What are your thoughts, Chris, or both of you? Seeing um, it in person now, it looks how the picture looks. <laughs> <laughs> Very now, descriptive. Um, I mean, look, it does it, look like how the picture looks. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Crazy, it really is. Um, now nah, they look great, bro. I think if you like skating in a little bit of a bulkier shoe, just based on the sole, because this sole is it's definitely a little bit chunkier for my taste. Dubs push on the sole, push on the bottom. But it, though. Yeah, it, it's, like, not, it's, it's not. Pretty, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty soft. It's not. Actually. Yeah, it's not hard. Where it's like. Yeah, you know, it's not that like it's 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 a bigger shoe. It kind of there's a little bit where I see like Rick Howard's shoe. Yes, I could definitely the, see that because the mid top, the number two Rick Howard had mm-hmm. like a strap on it as yep. well. Sorry, if it must mean like, but like had a strap on it as well. And I kind of see the inspiration of that. And then I see the clocker sole. And I see this right here was kind of like the Van England shoe, the first one he ever had. Mm. I don't know if you They had the, the yeah. sock in it. it. Yeah. It's funny. I am not a shoe guy whatsoever. And I had said this before, too. When uh, What's the other shoe that was... Um, the Lynx. The, the Lynx. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, oh, you know what? I'd like. Lo- I never wore DCs mm-hmm. in my life, you know, and I'd Nor like to I. kind of have some of these throwbacks because they look. I think they look rad, you yeah, know, the Lynx do. and everything. But not a shoe guy. But the first thing I do look at on a shoe is like the panels and how many what 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 are the color uh, yeah. options you could do. You know, I look at all the panels. I'm like, oh shit, you can put this there. Well, this one you can really thing. color up. Got yeah, a lot sure. of lot of panels to work with right yeah, there. I options. love that. That that's the first colorway. It's it's like it's not too crazy looking, right? It's not like these crazy colors. It's no. a lot of good simple colors put together. It's a tower too. They got exactly a, right. They got a little air vent right there. I like it. That's good. That's good. Got a little mesh there. That's I'm glad that we have those here, man. And like that's such old like that sole right there in the bottom. Yeah. If you look mm-hmm. at it on the very bottom. Mm-hmm. Like that's so DC. And I love, dude. I this is this is my thoughts on DC. You have like two different things of DC. You have that, you have like the OG style, and then you have this other side, which is like very, like more classic basic type shoes, Mm -hmm. where it's like there's no branding on it, where it's just like, it looks like a Vans or something like that, vulcanized shoe. I I personally like they're going back this way. Right. I mean, not all the shoes are going to be like that, but a majority of them are. And you could tell what shoe that is when you look at it. When you see the kids in Philly skating those shoes, you're like, oh, those are DCs. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. You can easily know that, and it stands out. So. And they're, they're skating 
really well in them. Yes. Plus, when you get to a brand where you're like 20 years plus, like you can start to revert back and get, get go and dig in the crates and get back those retro shoes that actually did really well back in the day. Because yeah. that, that, that's kind of what we're doing right now anyway. <clears throat> The cycle of shoes just is is coming back around again yeah. from like the early nineties, uh -huh. you know, mid nineties, and you know, I think that's just the uh, the evolution of anything. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it comes like, back around. We're bringing back the Muska and the Krieger for S, and like people are stoked. Yeah, it's like, and I don't know, to, to do something new like this, but make it look older is mm. is one of the coolest with a newer rider. Yeah, it's super. For sure. Congratulations to him, man. I Definitely, do, bro. I do like. I'm a fan of the strap. I think it's missing something here, though. You know what I mean? I think it's just there should be some type of logo there, or like, some type of the reason why pattern, they, or something there. The reason why probably they didn't do it is because of the logo on the side next to yeah. it. Whatever the reason is, I'm yeah. sure they had a good reason for it. For but I'm just saying, like I maybe they're yeah. Because sometimes it, for me, it's sometimes missing less is something. more though. Some, True. In, the, in these situations, because you got boom, boom. Because boom. you're not when you look at the shoe though. Honestly, you're not really looking at the strap too much. You're looking at the side of the shoe when you're looking at like skating Ooh, and that stuff. Strap is just staring me right in the face right yeah. now. But your pants, I don't know. It, you're gonna see the majority of branding you're gonna see is on the side of the shoe. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying right? is like for me, I would have I would have tried to play yeah. around. Maybe they did. Maybe they tried to play around with something, but I, yeah. something missing right there. But yeah. congrats on that. Big you know, yeah. uh, it's awesome. And it's awesome. And it's not out yet. I think it comes out in like a month or so. Uh, yeah. uh, don't hold me to that, guys. But so something like that. If you like this shoe, you support John Shanahan. Go talk to your skate shop about ordering it. Yeah. And support. Oh, him. here we go. Wait. Sorry. No, you're it's a Rick Howard. That's exactly. Yep. Look at that. Yep. And that, dude, I never had that. I had the, the ones a bunch of times. That was one of my favorite shoes ever. We talk about grippy. Yeah. I did, I was doing, dude, it would grip so crazy that it, you had to like wait like two days before it like you were consistently like doing kickflips. Wow. But it was one of the, I remember wearing it. It felt like I was Keith Huffnagel or Rick Howard. <laughs> like, you know, because they, that's the shoes they wore, like all the footage. So, for sure. I don't know, man. It was so, and Carol was skating them too. Yes, he was. That's, I don't know. That's so cool. Congratulations. Yeah. Man. It's awesome. Big ups. It's awesome. Yeah. DC, man. It's hooks. Do you want to hook us up with some shit? No. <laughs> it's, uh, no, we have them, you know, it's a whole thing. It's a whole it's thing. A whole thing. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But I do. I just think it's funny because, like, whenever we have something and we're looking at it, like, everybody assumes it's like a paid advertisement. And no. It's like, no, we're just. We're stoked on them. We got them. They're not out yet. Mm -hmm. Just check them out. Why you not? Know? Big Why fans not? over here. Big yeah. fans. And it's cool they had like the OG looking uh, box with it too. The shoe box. True. Yeah. Yep. So that, that ties in a lot. Damn true. Um, Damn true. Someone said like, oh, bring back the syntax. I'm pretty sure they brought that shoe back, but it didn't look exactly like the way it did. Anyways, sorry. Hmm. But. Huh. Holy crap. It's just like the Rick Howard. That's yep. what Beautiful Rewind said. For yeah. sure, for sure. 